Hello, Taurus. Elsie here to do a reading for you. Just thought I'd come drop one on you partway through the week here. We are on the Thursday as I record this. I hope you'll have it tonight before midnight. Thanks, Taurus, for all the ways you love me. As I say every time I talk with you. Thank you so much for your thumbs up, for loving me in the comments, for being just who you are, your high vibe and selves. Thank you so much for bringing your good energies here. I appreciate you so much. Taurus, we're just going to use some oracles and we're going to throw some tarot at it, see what we come up with. Let's figure it out. Something about the journey oracle. I don't really know what this deck is called, sorry. <laughs> I don't. All right. Taurus. We've got relationships. All right. We know what we're doing out the gate here. Relationships denial. Interesting. Love. Wow. Somebody is in great denial about the love they have for somebody here. It's about to come into balance, though. Look at that. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, Taurus, you that's just telling me that you're bringing someone in on your vibration. So, all the things that you are, this is the time to look it over, I'm telling you. It's the time to look in the mirror. All the things that you are, not all the, just the good things, but all the parts of you that are shadowed as well. That's what you're inviting in. That's what you're calling in on your vibration. So, it feels like the person you're calling in on your vibration is actually in a little bit of denial about, about feelings here. It says, I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with an insight of awareness. So there is somebody who is becoming aware of how they feel about you and that they might be um, realizing that you are on the same vibration as them or all of a the sudden they're thinking about you. When you're thinking about someone, know that the reason that you're thinking about someone is because they sent something energetically to you. It's true. When you're thinking about someone, they're usually thinking about you. We have love. And it says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Hmm. Somebody's gaining awareness. They are acknowledging their fear. And that's what created the denial. Somebody is in fear of love. That's what created the denial but they do know that you are their vibration. Like they know that they're energetically connected to you in some way. I feel like this is about to come into balance. There's just some indecision going on and that's the thing. It says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life and balance as I bring the state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay, I feel like somebody is coming out of the denial about how they feel about you. And they're starting to look at relationships in an energetic or vibrational way rather than a 3D way. Because the 3D, you can be attracted to anything that looks shiny on the outside, y'all. Anything can be shiny on the outside. But really, what's on the inside? And why are they trying to distract you with what is so shiny on the outside? That's another question, right? So it's, I feel like somebody is in denial about how they feel about someone we'll see who that is about we've got the bottom of the deck it says purpose but it's in the reverse it says i know what i'm here to do somebody doesn't yet know their purpose in life we all figure it out eventually hopefully if we're paying attention sometimes we do all right taurus what's up what's up here let's look at some tarot get some details There's a relationship, I believe, coming in that is on your vibration that you have called in. This is someone who is in denial about this connection. I think that this person, the reason that they are coming out of the denial is because they've committed to seeing the good in all things. And I feel like they realize that if they are good, the person that they're calling in on their vibration must be good as well. Ooh, this one broke your heart. Denial. So someone has been thinking about it here, Taurus. Someone has got in, in their gut Piscean energy. The hanged man is here. So someone is, it says, I acknowledge 
That's what this is. This is acknowledging that you don't have the answer. You're not sure what's going on. And I'm trying to look at it from every point of view, from Taurus's point of view, from my friend's point of view, from my own point of view. Like there, somebody is trying to come to a place of understanding within themselves. Somebody is surrendering themselves to the universe and said, tell me if I'm wrong. I'm willing to see another perspective. Tell me if I'm wrong. And asking, like, the gut, am I wrong, right? I think that somebody up till now has been in denial. I don't know if it's you or them. You can take that as it resonates. Tell me about love. You're used to getting hurt as it comes down to relationships. You're the overgiver, Taurus. You're the overgiver. You offer the stability. You come with pentacles usually in your pocket, no matter how many. It doesn't matter if you've got two or 102. You're willing to share. You're very charitable, right? And it feels like you keep getting hurt person after person after person. And what I want to say to you is, what is your vibration? There's a reason you call those people in on your vibration, and that's because the only vibration you can call in is your own. So if you're calling, you need to look around you. Who's around you? <laughs> and, and do you like those people? Because those are the people that are you're calling in on your vibration. And if that's not, if that's not supposed to be that way after you take a close look, then maybe it's time to make changes. Um, the Six of Wands is here with love. So it does feel like somebody here does want to have victory as it pertains to love. But I want to say that whoever I'm talking about here is somebody who has been hurt a lot in the past. We can see that here. Lots of hurt in the past. And this person we know has been to war or has come back from something, a really dark and tough time. And they're going to get some victory. This person is going to get victory and love. And it's because they're mirroring now, because they're calling in, because they understand that they must see the good in all things in order to call in the good things. Somebody here is in a realization, I can have victory on love, but I need to make sure that I know where my vibration is at. And don't be surprised if the one that's broken shows up to you. Maybe it's time to look back in the mirror and see what it is about you that is allowing that sort of energy into your energy field. You understand it's never about them. So that's why I always say those of you who are smack talking and slaying the exes in the comments, those of us who are awake know that, um, you know, not one person is 100% is of the problem. And you just need to change your vibration in order to pull away from that or you're stuck there. You're keeping yourself stuck there by smack talking them. We have um, the Page of Pentacles, we have the Star, and the Seven of Swords. Interesting energies. Give you a little bit more room there. There you go. There we are. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So, up in our heads, huh? About what? Oh, but the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. The Seven of Wands. Somebody has been holding their ground. They're not showing someone feelings. The Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. I don't really have the courage or the confidence to show someone that I really have a lot of feelings for them. Um, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and then the King of Cups. The Seven of Wands is sort of standing my ground, but I want to tell you that you don't get to stand your ground against the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> You don't. It's changes. Changes are coming. I feel like you're going to come out of this eight of swords energy if you're the one that's been overthinking or maybe someone's been overthinking you. Take it as it resonates. And um, so I think that you have been hurt in a relationship. Page of Pentacles tells me that um, that there is some type of message coming to you. Now, it feels like with the Three of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, it's like it gets off to a limpy start. Somebody doesn't know what to say because they don't know if they've if you're disappointed in them or if you broke their if they broke your heart. Somebody might be coming in with a gift, Taurus. And it might be a monetary gift, like Page of Pentacles monetary, like, you know, a trinket or a set of earrings or something, you know, or a wallet or whatever it is. They might come with a small trinket. But I feel like there is 
going to be someone who's going to reach out. Now, I think this is someone that you're already disappointed in. I'm going to be honest. I don't feel heartbreak, but I do feel disappointment. Oh, I wish that would have worked out. That's what it feels like here. And it says I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So I feel like you've been you've had your heart broken over and over. Maybe it only gets to the page of pentacles to the trinket stage and then we're done. But I feel it maybe it's time to look over your own energy and see why you're calling these people in. Or if you're not calling them in, why are you chasing them? Yeah, those are all the things that you need to look in the mirror about, right? So I feel like with the, the denial here that we have um, the acknowledgement of fear, someone is scared to make a decision, scared to do the surrender, but I think they're going to do it anyway. And they are becoming aware. Um, the star is here. They're becoming aware that they have to look at the situation with you uh, uh, head over heart. They must make a logical decision, one that's best for, for all involved here. One that I, I feel like somebody here is really hopeful that they can come to a realization or clarity about what to do because I think that this person, it could be your person or you, somebody here is in denial. They got to acknowledge whatever fears it is and they have to they have to try and see it from a different point of view in order for this all to work out. It says I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So there's an attraction here. You have a you have a really strong um, chemical or alchemical or, or charismatic connection. This person, you're very attracted to them when they're in your energy. They give you fire. Um, I think this person is coming into with an apology <laughs> uh, or something small like, can, can I take you out for coffee? Or there's a page of pentacles here indicating that there's a message coming. We have the Six of Swords in the reverse. I can't move on. I'm stuck. So somebody needs to speak with you because they're stuck. Somebody has come into an insight of awareness. Now that they're using their gut. And now they know they're stuck. It feels like they're hopeful that with using their intuition that they're going to be able to move forward. But right now, they are stuck. It feels like the universe is forcing hand. I think, I, did I say that already? It feels like the universe is forcing someone's hand. That's what it feels like. Somebody has a fear of moving on or moving forward. Can I resurrect this? Is it really over? I'm hopeful that it's not over. I'm hopeful that the silence that we have is just that, that we're just trying to look at the other perspective, right? Trying to look at the other person's perspective. I feel like there is going to be a chance to resurrect something here for some of you. And uh, regardless of whether you want it or not, it will present itself as such. And uh, the because that's what the that's what the major arcana cards are. You don't get choices in those. Those come at you, and then you get to respond or react. I feel like there is going to be victory in love here, but I think there's a few things that we need to get past first. Firstly, the Seven of Swords is giving me an energy of, but I I want to try again, but I can't trust you. If only I could trust you, maybe we could resurrect this thing. It feels like you are very defensive about somebody who comes in with passion and wants to resurrect something with you. Someone, I feel, who could be Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, and Pisces. Whoever this person is that I'm speaking with that is, is uh, acknowledging their fears and then trying to find new insight in order to make a decision, this person is going to come back around to you. They are going to come forward. You're going to get the text or the phone call or whatever it is. Um, I feel like this person really wants to have um, victory in love. But I, I think that they're understanding it from a different point of view is what I want to say. Look, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, 
pump anybody up, but I'm just saying what I'm feeling here is that somebody here has realized that they are only who they can call in on their vibration. Like once once they realize that their vib vibration is, is at a certain place, then they can realize whether they want the victory or not. And I think someone is realizing here that love is a vibrational thing. It's ne It never was about your meat suit. It never was about how you can polish up the outside. In fact, if that's all you're coming across, I'd be suspicious. People who are shined up on the outside and broken AF on the inside. So I think that somebody is coming to... I think you're defensive with this person because you don't trust them, first of all, because I don't think that you feel they've given you honesty. And they're going to come to you and ask you for a new beginning, but I think you're going to have a lot of questions. Um, your Seven of Wands there is I'm standing my ground with the Seven of Swords. I want to know what I want to know. And we have more than one Seven. There's a lot of support from the universe for this. I feel like it's supposed to go off. It's supposed to happen that way. But I also feel we're only one seven from a jackpot. So I feel like I feel like this could go either way. Some of you, because of the judgment card, it changes it up, right? Some of you, like all of you, are going to get the opportunity offered to you for the judgment. Some of you are going to take it and some of you won't. And that's kind of reflected here. I'm not really sure if I want to or not. Tell me what the challenge is here. The biggest challenge is the hanged man. Can I get out of this energy here? Can I sacrifice enough? Can I overcome my fear? Um, can can I get the insight of awareness? Do I get the aha moment? It all depends on the hanged man energy. Somebody is hopeful that they are going to come to a conclusion, but I don't see one just yet. Tell me about the hanged man. Look, somebody is really scared to come forward. They don't want to make a decision. They don't want to make the wrong decision. And I feel like this person is worried or has worry or thinks that they need to be brave because they think that there's other people who you are entertaining. They think that you're either dating other people or that you're a serial dater. This person thinks that you are the Nine of Cups. I feel like that's what they're trying to reconcile while they're in the Hanged Man energy. This looks like the Nine of Cups, but then why do I feel so much anxiety or fear? Why am I behind the fear wall? Because I think the Six of Pentacles, someone, you know, this person, Taurus, may be giving me reciprocity, but I don't know how many other people that Taurus has in the DMs. I think that this person really has hope that you, you two will get together. Yep, there it is. Eight of Cups. Somebody is coming back, right? So they're walking away from whatever was back there, Eight Cups, and they're going towards the Two. Somebody has deep feelings for you. They're off to find the Two of Cups, and I think they're coming towards you to look for that. So this person is going to ask you out. We've got the Three of Cups. We've got the Six of Cups. Wow, Nine Cups all together. And the Knave of uh, Wands, who is the page. So um, it looks like that this person does realize that they do want the victory here. You are going to get the communication. And I feel like I sound like I sound like a broken record at this point. But we are looking at Three of Cups energy. This person is either going to invite you out or someone else is going to invite you out. That Three of Cups has been coming up like crazy for this month for you so far, Taurus. It's coming up like in every reading. The Six Six of Cups tells me that I feel like somebody realizes that there is this connection that they feel is deeper than most connections is the truth and they message you about that. It's like somebody has had a chance to think it over and maybe when this happened here, when the disappointment happened, um, maybe when you were kind of in this relationship for the passion only, it didn't get to grow very much, right? Like the page of Pentacles is like it didn't really, we didn't really get to plant anything here. We got to talk about it. Maybe we saw each other a few times, but nothing really transpired from it. And it was because there was somebody who was in denial of, of love at all. This person never thought that they'd have love. No. I don't think so. But I think you're going to get the message. And they're going to try and play it off as fun and flirty. Now, for some of you who they've who they disappointed already, that's going to be a little bit tough for them, right? They're going to come in sort of happy, fun, flirty, trying to you know, push things under the rug just a little bit. Now, the thing is, is I know that this person wants a lot with you because the Nine of Cups is here. Um, and so we have, uh, yeah, six and three, right? This person has a deep connection to you. It feels like this is an invitation, probably directly from your person, an invitation to invest. So somebody has had a change of mind here. 
They were in denial before, remember? There you go. The world card is on the denial. I like it. Yes, yeah, somebody has closed the chapter to feeling in denial about love, about what they really want, Taurus. I think what they really want is you or what you really want is them. Look at that. I'm bored here. I need to go for my soulmate. Somebody has really made a big change in their life, a big a big part of their life that the way they used to act or their maybe they were in patterns that were unhealthy, they've closed that door. And it feels like someone was in denial and now is no longer in denial because of the world card. Someone was in denial that you were the soulmate, that you are the soulmate. This person is just sitting with that right now. <laughs> I think it's freaking them out. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do believe that this person is someone who, who wants to have commitment, but I think it freaks them out just a little bit. They're worried about it. So go slow. <laughs> this person's coming toward you, man. Look at that. Yeah. They're going to ask you to go on some sort of an adventure. So, you know, whether that adventure is, you know, a hike or walking through a park or whatever it is, they, they're going to pick you up and take you out, I think. They want to see you. Uh, strength. This person's taking all their courage because they... They still think that there's other people that you're tending to. So just be aware that there's a lot of feelings at stake here. It feels like there's gonna you're going to get a balance in your feelings with this person that you haven't spoken to in a while, but you knew they were going to call. You knew they were going to text you. The high priestess is here and the emperor. That's who's coming at you. The emperor's been healing. I feel like the emperor is the one we're talking about here that was in denial. I'm going to leave it right there, Taurus. Thank you so much for coming to watch here. I appreciate you all so much. Love you, love you, love you. And I'll be back because I'm always freaking back. Love you guys. Bye-bye.